your friends and family get together with you and you decide to go do something fun and exciting that not very many of you have done before. And that's to go to the new indoor climbing gym. But you don't have any idea where to begin. You've made it here to Climber Dad. Let me help you out. The first thing that you might be asking yourself is, what do I wear? Well, I'm the guy that created a climbing hold bolo tie. Oh yeah. So I might not be the best person to ask about fashion advice, but let me tell you some of the things that I see in the gym and also what I wear and works well in the gym as well. For women, So if it's something that you would wear to yoga, that's what you would wear to the gym. Um, for guys, just try to fit your, yeah, whatever. Okay, I wear my jeans and a t-shirt. I don't put anything special on. Now there is some times that I'm like, oh yeah, these jeans are like really restrictive. That's something you want to make sure that you can really move well in the clothes that you're wearing and that it's comfortable. Hey, that's the most thing, the biggest thing that you need to be worried about is comfort and mobility. Hey, next thing. The words that are used in climbing circles is a little different than just everyday stuff. Uh, for example, if you if somebody comes up to you while you're at the gym and they say, "Hey, you want some beta?" Beta is a term used for information on how to climb a specific route or problem. When you are on ropes, it is called a route. When you are on a boulder problem, which is Without ropes, low to the ground, it's called a problem. Okay, beta is a good thing most of the time. Sometimes it's just better to go without the beta and just have fun. When you are looking for these routes or problems, most gyms are doing monochromatic setting, which means only one color of holds is used, like in this case, it's blue. Some gyms use tape, so they'll put a specific color of tape on a hold and that means that you can use that. Now you don't have to go with a specific route or problem that's set. You can just go in and grab holds and climb and have fun. That's what this is about, remember? Having fun with your friends and family that you haven't seen in a while. So don't forget about that. Some other key things that you might want to know is how to move on the wall. It's really important that you keep your center of gravity over your feet as much as possible and move with straight arms. Think about it as trying to keep all of your weight on the skeletal system of your body, not the muscular system of the body, and you will be able to climb much harder and much longer than if you were trying to use bent arms. Grab big holds to practice this, and then it's just like swinging on the monkey bars. Well, sort of. You might also need to know the different types of holds. And the different types of holds, there are crimps, which you probably want to stay away from. There are jugs, really good for beginners. And slopers. Those are the, the three big ones that you'll see or hear mentioned a lot in the gym. Crimpers are holds that you can only get the first pad of your fingers on or less. Jugs are really big holds that are easy to grab. 
slopers have a negative surface that requires friction to hold on to them. So I hope this helps. Have fun. Now if you are a climber and you have advice for the new never been to the climbing gym before person, please leave that in the comments below. I know that I've missed something. I'd love to see those. Also, if this is your first time that you went to a climbing gym and this video helped you out, please let me know. I would love to know that this helped you out. Or if you are missing something from this video or felt like you were missing something, let me know. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, it helps people find me. It also lets me know that I'm doing a good job. I hope that you have a great time at the climbing gym. And I'll see you here next time on Climber Dad.